The South Indian city of Salem is known not just for its handloom and sago industries or its delicious mangoes. For nearly a century, it has been one of India's leading manufacturing hubs of the silver anklet or kolasa. An estimated 10,000 units employing about 1.5 lakh persons make anklets that are sent across India and exported too. In some parts of the city, it is possible to see anklets in different stages of manufacture laid out in long lines on the street. There are 30 steps to making an anklet and each one goes to at least 10 places before it returns to the unit for the finishing stage. One of the unique features about the Salem anklet is that except for a few stages, most of the manufacturing is still done by hand. Artisans lay out varying lengths of silver wire that has already been cast in a pattern. They then manually fix die-cut embellishments like flowers and enamel accents in a painstakingly slow process. Made of silver alloyed with copper, these ornaments come with tinkling bells or salangai attached. Mud from the road outside is mixed with water to create a paste that is packed into iron trays. These form a non-reactive base that keeps all the tiny parts of the anklet from dislodging. Once done, the tray is sent to another worker who solders the pieces on each anklet till it is ready for the next process of cleaning and polishing. Technology and competition from mechanized production have affected Salem's anklet industry in many ways. While social media has facilitated nationwide trade, a growing number of people are making copies of the original product. Manufacturers believe a GI tag will help solve this problem, which the industry is yet to receive. A lack of supportive documentation to prove the antiquity and uniqueness of the business in Salem is the main cause, say local history enthusiasts and jewellery industry players. The local chapter of the Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage has been spearheading an initiative to get a GI tag for the Salem Golisip. <laughs>